to this channel mr bad boy back again with another reaction video so if you are new you see this channel don't forget to subscribe and join the bad boy uh, reaction the badass reaction as you know so today we got to this video this title he says here what is it like to be a football pro in russia uh, so uh, felicio felicio brown uh, for best so we're gonna see what is it what is it like to be a football player in russia as you can see guys uh, russia they love football i think they love hockey they love like uh winter sports but uh so let's let's see how how is it to be a player football player in russia so let's go my first reaction when i get the offer from russia was first oh okay <laughs> it was it was like russia is calling me to play football it's normal in russia it's good it's good call me russia to play with your football i can play football very good just call me i'm coming russia why russia <laughs> europe's eastern most metropolis this place is, My name is very i love the jacket it's canada goose jacket my biggest dream was always <laughs> still uh, to play for real madrid uh, for now berliner felicio brown he hopes to play with uh, for uh, real madrid russian first division club at 19 it looked like he could make it to the top he was playing for the german under 20 side but then his career stalled age 21 the german costa rican got an offer from russia It's gonna be minus eight degrees, and uh, we will play. <laughs> My, yeah. He said, he Russia. said minus eight degrees with with a little bit uh, sad face, or not sad face, but like tired face. Maybe he doesn't uh, love cold so much. For sure, they had some moments uh, for racist actions, but um, personally, for me, uh, I never had a problem with this. I saw only two or three times that uh, hooligans uh, fight, um, it, preparing uh, even in the game. So uh, we must stop the game and. Uh, and the way that they finish with fighting uh, was, was a little bit crazy. Preparations for the World Cup haven't exactly gone as planned. Wow. Across the country, excitement ahead of the tournament is muted. It's Not cold. least because of the weak Russian side. What they are buying? Is it coffee? Oh, football player, football doesn't, Russians don't play in Europe. Amkar Perm is Forbes' sixth club in Russia. Clubs in the Russian Premier League are only allowed six foreigners. So players oh. like him tend to move frequently. But the Russians allowed only six players, foreigner Tula, players. Arsenal Tula, FK Rostov, FK Ufa and Krelia Sovetov. So he knows his way around the country. But he would much rather have stayed with Hertha Berlin, where he played as a youngster. When I see the pitch, I want to play now. <laughs> Many, wow, uh, the stadium is very beautiful and cool and very good. With, uh, 17 years, I played here my very first good, time you know, the green, uh, amazing. I think it was 60, 000, the green uh, floor. Uh, fans was here. In this moment, also, I knew I want to play here, and uh, yeah, in the future, it comes like this. <laughs> <laughs> 
They love the stadium. The stadium is beautiful, man. So big. Even though he would have earned less than in Russia, he wanted to accept the offer. Wow. But the transfer collapsed after a few trial sessions with Union. So Felicio spends his winter on holiday in the German capital, while the Russian league took a break during the colder months. This is his big brother's recording studio, where he spent some much needed quality time with friends and family before heading back to the Ural Mountains. Nice. Family time and friends time. Get money. <laughs> Ob du hier in der dritten Liga rumguckst oder in der ersten Liga in Russland spielen kannst, die auch unter die Top 6 Ligen in Europa gehören, sagen wir mal, nach Deutschland, Frankreich, England, Spanien, Holland vielleicht vorher noch, aber dann kommen, ne, Holland ist sogar noch drunter. Some good teams, yeah. Und in Russland gibt es ja gute Teams, so ist es nicht. Also, wie viele können behaupten, wir haben schon gegen Dani gezockt oder Hulk mal weggegrätscht, ja, im brasilianischen Nationalspiel. Ja. Also das sind dann halt so Sachen so. Macht einen natürlich auch irgendwie stolz zu einem großen Bruder. <lacht> I think they pay him very good in Russia to play in Russia. His brother has a studio there. He's making music. This is the last meal before the league game. And the journeymen in the team usually stick together. None of them see Perm as a permanent home. Also, my dream is uh, like I play in the best leagues in the world. But Said I, is I live it Iranian. Moment, you know, I live in the moment because now I have a World Cup in front of me, and that is very good and is the best moment for I show myself in the world or in the best clubs there. That's why I, I play here in the one year, and then. I hope everything will be good for me and in my career also. We have to uh, perform good and uh, to come to a club like Zenit or Spartak or CSK and everything. So uh, of course then you will also earn that money uh, you deserve. The gap to the wealthiest clubs in the league is huge. Even against Europa League side Krasnodar, Ankar Perm can't compete. <laughs> the guy with the hat. In the UEFA rankings. Thanks to oligarchs financing the top clubs. What However, the crowd, team so. is on a similar level to Albania and Burkina Faso in the FIFA rankings. Ah, it's cold. Russia, they give money to foreigners players. They care a lot about foreigners players. If Brown Forbes does not perform well, he may need to find a new club in the summer again. No. But things are looking up. Even in the heavy defeat against Krasnodar, he scores his first goal of the season. I will go my way and give everything, and this is the most important. Something comes from Germany for sure in the future. I'm happy about it. Maybe I get another offer from Russia. Maybe I like it more there. I don't know now. But uh, we will see what happens in the future. Goodbye. See you at the World Cup 2018 in Russia. <laughs> So this is the end of the video guys, tell me guys if this player is still playing in Russia, so uh, I think it's very good, it's normal to play in Russia, it's, no, it's not a big problem, so same as Europe, so especially if they give good money and they treat uh, the foreigners very good and they treat the players very good, so it will be, uh, it will be no difference between playing, between, between playing in in, in uh, Spain or uh, in England or in, uh, in France or in Germany so it's all the same as playing in Russia it's not a big difference 
So tell me guys your opinion. Tell me if they pay very good for foreigners player players to play in Russia. Tell me what you think. Should Russia play in Europe? Do they, do, is it good for Russia to play in Europe and uh, to be in the uh, European football uh, league and championship and uh, all this stuff on this football uh, leagues in Europe? Tell me, so what do you think? I think Russia should play in Europe and should uh, join the Europe and because uh, I, uh, Russia is uh, it's part actually. Uh, they have everything. They have very good stadiums. Uh, they have very good uh, places to play football and uh, yeah, they have everything. So guys, thank you. This is the end of my reaction. If you like the video, don't forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel. So I will see you in the next video. Take care of you.